In this video, I'll show you how to use the PowerShell Pro Tools WPF Designer integration in Visual Studio Code. So I have the PowerShell Pro Tools extension installed, and what I can do here is I can actually create a new WPF window. I'm just going to click New File here. I'll type wpfwindow.xaml, and I'm going to add some like basic XAML to this window. So pretty much it's just a basic window XAML with um, a name, background color and title. In the top right here you'll notice that there is a uh, button for showing the form designer. So what this is going to do is it's actually going to open PS Script Pad which has an integrated um, WPF designer in it. So once I click that you're going to notice that the extension itself is going to start to activate and load uh, PS Script Pad. So PS Script Pad uh, looks like this, and you can see here that we have our WPF Designer um, with the basic window that we created uh, in that XAML file. Um, on the left-hand side, you'll find things like the toolbox, and the toolbox contains um, tools that you can actually drop onto the WPF Designer canvas. You can also do things like edit the um, XAML directly inside PS Script Pad to uh, add new um, components down there via uh, XAML directly. If I want to add a button, for example, I can drag it onto uh, the designer canvas. And since I have a grid inside my window, it's going to put that um, button inside the grid. So now I have this button here, and I can move it around um, just with the mouse, and it will update the margin based on where I'm uh, kind of positioning uh, that button. Um, in addition to being able to uh, uh, edit the code in the XAML window down here. You can also click Properties, and then what that's going to do is display all the properties of the currently selected control. So, for example, if I wanted to change the name of this, my button, um, and if I hit Enter there, you're going to notice that the XAML updated down here uh, and updated the name of this button. I can also do things like um, change the, uh, the height of the button. So I could set it to 100 um, and hit enter and you'll notice the XAML uh, updates down here again. So in that way you can kind of get this visual representation of um, things that you uh, modify within the property window or add directly in the XAML window. So once I've kind of designed my XAML form with PS Script Pad, what I can do is I can actually go back to VS Code um, and you'll see here that the XAML window has updated based on um, those changes. So now let's actually integrate this XAML window with PowerShell. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to call it window.ps1. And then the first thing that I need to do is I need to load the presentation framework assembly. So that's the um, pretty much the WPF assembly uh, that will allow us to load uh, that XAML file and display it. So um, by default, it's not loaded in PowerShell processes. So we just need to make sure that we load that ourselves. Next, I'm going to uh, use this handy little function to actually import the XAML. So the first thing that this does is it actually loads the XAML as an XML document, um, and we're just loading that WPF window.xaml. Um, next, we actually are going to um, create a new XML namespace manager um, and uh, create that manager and add some um, namespace to that manager uh, based on the XAML. And then uh, we're going to create a XML node reader and then load that XAML using the Windows Markup XML or XAML reader. And that is actually going to inflate an object of uh, the window type here. So you'll see that um, this is a window and it is going to create a window object. So the next thing that we can do then is actually call import XAML and um, that will return a window. And then from there, we can call show dialog to um, pop that window up and display it um, from PowerShell. So if I click run here, it's actually going to open my window. And you can see here's my WPF window. And um, I have that button that I created um, on, on the window. So uh, one obviously important thing for uh, creating forms like this is having interactivity. So what you can actually do um, in this case is um, kind of find controls that are within your XAML, um, get instances of those controls, and then add event handlers to those instances of those controls. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to use um, a method on uh, the window class called findName. So we're going to set a button variable, and we're going to use window.findName 
to actually look up the name of a control within the window. Um, if you recall, I set the name of my button to my button. So since I did that, what I can do is I can actually say my name and then return the button to this um, variable. Um, from there, if I want to have an event handler, what I can do is I can say button dot add. And what I'm going to do is add a click handler. And the syntax here is that I'm adding an event handler to the click event. And then I'm putting a script block uh, into that um, add event method. And then from there, I can call some PowerShell script. So I'm just going to call write host and say hello whenever this button is clicked. So now that I have that done, uh, one thing to note is I have to make sure I do that before show dialog, otherwise it won't be assigned um, uh, before we show the window. So uh, I've done that, and now if I run this again, it's going to pop up this WPF window, and um, oh, I messed up the uh, name of the button. It's my button, not, not my name. Um, and let's run this again. And you can see I didn't get an error this time. And now every time I click the button, uh, it's going to write hello into um, the uh, PowerShell host uh, console down here. So uh, there's a lot more to WPF. Um, you can definitely find a bunch of resources out there on how to uh, create WPF windows in PowerShell. Um, and the PowerShell um, WPF integration for PS Grip Pad and Visual Studio Code is just a handy way to kind of visually make uh, your WPF forms um, in conjunction with Visual Studio Code. So in this video, we looked at the PowerShell Pro Tools WPF Designer integration for Visual Studio Code.